Hello there, loot fans. How's it going? Welcome to another little loot crate video here on Pastiche of Skin. It is so good to hear from you again. It's so good to see you again. This is our March versus crit. Yep, it's a little bit late. So I've got a little bonus for you guys to actually have on after this video. So stick around. You get to see what actually else is new to this little kind of video. Yeah, I'm really depressed. Because I really wanted to enjoy this along with everybody else. I already know what's on this, you already know what's in this, but let's just get this over and done with. Because we have to do the contents of the inside. Ooh. Okay, so what we got here in this month's Blair vs. Crit. We're ready to grab the t-shirt and we're going to go out to the wide. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of Loot Crit here on Passage of Skin. It's good to see you. It's wonderful to see you all again. Thank you very much for coming. But sadly, of course, these crits arrived a little too late for me to actually be on the um, early edges of being the first ones to unbox, but what can you do? Speaking of which, their evil, evil duplicate that is Loot Crate has actually sent me a Mirror Mirror t-shirt. Have you seen this one? I'm pretty sure you have, because everybody else has seen it. But I'm actually kind of happy with it because um, I'm a big Star Trek geek. <laughs> but I'm a Star Trek Next Generation geek, so I know what this is. I probably, I don't think I've ever actually seen the crossover episodes with the, um, the evil versions with uh, mustachioed and bearded versions of their evil selves, but yeah, I know that's evil Spock and Spock from the episode of Mirror Mirror, which has been, like, parodied so many times before. Like, that's the reason why everybody has evil goatees for their evil versions of themselves. But yeah, <laughs> I don't mind the t-shirt. I like the design on it. I um, like the color. I'm not one normally for cream or light colored t-shirts because I'm a profusely big man, but um, this actually isn't too bad. And being a Loot Crate exclusive shirt, it's a uh, pretty... It's nice. It's just nice to look at. The only thing I've realized is that this is actually much too small for me. I don't know why they've sent me a medium crate or medium shirt. Um, it's not I need to contact them about. It's not that big of a deal because it's not, this is something I probably wouldn't wear. I'd probably modify this and put it onto a canvas or something so I can actually like look at that image. But um, yeah, they sent me the wrong size shirt. Probably it's all that they had left considering the fact that mine's arrived so reasonably late, I suppose. But it's a little bit disappointing. We'll see what happens next. If they, they send me the wrong shirt again, then there'll be issues because they obviously probably just threw whatever one they had left into the box. But murmur, cool thing. Back into the box. Whoopah. Okay, next thing to pull out here is, of course, this Daredevil loot exclusive shirt with a Punisher one on the inside. I, I'm really happy about this. <laughs> you know what? Um, can't get any happier about a beanie. You know, like the it's 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 almost summer now, so it's not exactly going to get the most wear and tear over the next couple of months. But um, yeah, I like the design. I really, really like the design. Did I get that in the center there? Yeah, that's almost in the center. So, gonna be uh, Punisher represent <laughs> for the rest of the episode. Also, sweating my ass off inside this already. Oh wow, my head's actually pretty itchy. This is kind of itchy wool for a uh, bald head, especially for a freshly shaved bald head. Did you know? I shave my head before I do these videos. Oh, I'm losing thread already. <laughs> okay, back into the box to see what else we got in here. Ooh, okay, cool. One of those like paper wallets. I've actually seen these before. Um, never owned one myself before. Mighty wallets made out of mighty paper. Um, yeah. Folded a few times. Probably lasts for a fair bit of time. Um, it's a nice lacquered waxy kind of paper that's made out of. I currently, like I need someone that's a little bit more hard wearing for my wallet because I tend to have a lot of stuff inside it. But uh, dare to tear. Ooh. Take the challenge and post it. Mighty well feature you dare to tear. Oh, 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 okay. Dare to tear. Really? You, you want to dare me to tear this? All right. <laughs> I'm willing to actually give it a good old college try. So I'm assuming there's actually like a specification that you're not meant to be able to tear it, or you're not allowed to tear it by using your teeth, or by using. Um, like by pulling one bit of it and actually like tearing the rest of it separately because I'm pretty sure <laughs> that as much as paper is durable I mean if I take this wee bit and start tearing it on its own I'm probably going to be able to tear through it I don't want to it's, it's nice material I don't want to tear it too badly okay let's see give it a quick yeah. Yeah. no it ain't tearing see I want to just grab one bit of it here and just tear it but it's um Oh, it's uh, oh, it's because of the box of waxy paper. It's kind of sealed. You can't tear it on its own. Uh, okay, well, that makes sense. Well, at least that means it'll be pretty hard wearing in your pocket. It's about as durable and as wearing as wallet money. So I suppose that'll actually last pretty well. 
of course, marketed for our versus with Batman versus Superman. On to the next thing. What else we got in here? Do -do -do -do. Of course, your traditional Lupin. This time, a Predator and Alien. Because the one thing I'm... Uh, of course, Predator and Alien. <laughs> the best versus is Predator versus Alien. I mean, I remember when Dark Horse did this originally. And I, remember, I used to love the books. I loved Deadliest of Species and Hunter, uh, Hunter Prey. Um... Oh, was that, what was the first one? I think Hunter Prey was the Hunter Prey was the second one, but there was a first Alien vs Predator, which was originally meant to be the script for Alien vs Predator, where they actually had uh, Broken Tusk, the um, Predator, on a hunt to try and uh, stop a population of uh, human aliens that actually weren't intentionally made because they essentially the humans had colonized the planet since the last time the Predators had hunted on it, and there was this uh, one uh, Japanese American girl who ended up finding her a warrior spirit and survived alongside Broken Tooth, which was uh, pretty much what they did in Alien vs Predator with um, uh, setting it in the like the very, very north in the Arctic. But um, originally it was meant to be an alien planet and it was like, it was a much better story. I enjoyed the hell out of it because uh, it was the first crossover kind of thing that I really didn't... I, I, two movie monsters getting together and actually there being a proper decent plot and thread to carry it through all the way through rather than just like, fight, 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 fight. Acid, acid, acid. I really enjoyed it. Um, Alien vs Predator holds a special place in my heart, so that pen will actually well make it into my normal rotation of things I wear, be it on a lapel or something. I like it though. The nice design, it's well coloured, and um, of course there's got to be something that's linked in with the loop pin that they'll probably show us in the book whenever I get to it. So, the big thing to actually look out for in this, of course, is another fig, AVP. It's a blind box, and there's a whole selection of ones that could be in, but... No, no, that's Alien Nostromo. No, that's a different thing altogether. So this has to be a Luke exclusive. It's either going to be an Alien, or a Predator. So let's see which one we got. And uh, pop on the top. Oh, it's, it is a blind bag, so I don't even know when I, oh, hang on, I can tell by feel. I can tell by feel. Oh, wait, hmm, hang on. Oh, yes, I think I got the one that I wanted. Yeah, come on, you bastard, Woohoo! Yeah, baby, <laughs> look at that. I got myself a Predator. Yeah, man, oh, I'm so happy about that. Um, well, one, because my girlfriend got the, the Alien, so it's kind of like we actually have a pair. Pretty much now, one versus the other. Plus, I'm a bigger fan of the Predator than I am the Indians. Xenomorphs look cool and all, and the fact they have all the different types that they kind of turn into, but I'm so much happier having this. That is a fucking awesome wee figure. Um, yeah, that's going, that's going on to the shelf. I mean, essentially, give you a good chance to like a look at it on the close-up angle. I mean, the detailing on it is a bit... Well, it's not bland, but it's a little bit overpainted in bits and pieces, but uh, that's pretty cool. It's like a, pretty much like a Monday pop cap figure kind of thing. Make sure I'm not showing anything that's you know, <laughs> in there. Making sure I didn't have to show a code or anything. But yep, this bad boy is going right onto the shelf. So uh, let's put it in front of Tara Connor's Roots for now. Speaking of which, uh, that's a very, very good book. I recommend it. Go and check it out. Tara Connor, nice writer. Uh, there's also a thank you to me in that because I'm supported on Kickstarter. But yeah, good book. Well worth a read. Good, good uh, travel uh, travel log comic. But yeah, there's a predator sitting chilled out amongst everybody else. Ah, cool. I think the figure collection is really growing actually. Okay, um, let's see, what else we got inside the box here? Okay, we got uh, Word Gush. Loot Crate Exclusive, a party game about everything you love. Uh, it's download free for mobile. I'm assuming there is a code on here. Uh, nope. Okay, cool. That's actually a game that's probably, probably downloaded through the, um, the actual like, Loot Crate store. That's the next item that we have here. Oh, okay. A Harley Quinn comic book. Issue one. Oh, okay, so issue one of Harley Quinn uh, from the New 52. Well, let's take a quick look at this. Um, I mean, normally, I mean, keep on meaning to do this book club thing here on um, Past Easter Skin, where I sit down and kind of go through either the books that are given to us in the loot crates, or my quick little finds whenever I go sprawling around comic book shops and looking for stuff. But um, I haven't read much of the New 52 at all. I just really never got into it. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Yeah. So this is actually, is this a standalone book? So it seems to actually have stories from before. Um, hmm. Oh, essentially she makes a wish? Oh, okay, yeah. So it's essentially if she made a couple of wishes, and weird things happen, and it looks interesting. And I'll probably have a proper quick read through that. You know, Hardy Quinn. Suicide Squad is coming up soon. We're going to be uh, inundated with Hardy Quinn merchandise. I'm willing to bet we will probably see more of Hardy in future loot crates because of that. So, um, I'm not too concerned about, um... I'm not too concerned about not missing out on anything from her because I, I love the color scheme and stuff. The red and black is actually like some of my, like my favorite color pattern kind of thing. But um, 
Yeah, I mean, the, you can oversaturate a character. I mean, we can oversaturate Deadpool, we can oversaturate Wolverine, we can oversaturate Harley Quinn. We can all get to the point where we're just sick of looking at her. And I don't want that to happen because she's, uh, she's one of my favorite characters from the DC animated, series, animated universe. And, all right, of course, we have our Loot Crate book. We have our Loot Crate book to actually take a look at all the things that came in the versus. Right, let's see if we made sure we got everything that was in there. It was... Uh, yeah, yeah. Harley Quinn, exclusive comic book. Alien vs. Predator, 4.5 inch vinyl figures. The exclusive Batman, Dawn of Justice. The Batman's first Superman, Don Punch's Mighty Wallet. Daredevil Punisher Reversible Bibini. Uh, the T on RT, or oh, the t title on it. Mirror Mirror, of course. Um, admittedly, in the wrong size, so I need to give him a poke about that. And, uh, okay, international leaders. Oh, yes, because the, um, the difference between international and domestic leaders uh, for video rental and that kind of crack, we need to actually change this. So they gave us a different thing instead. They gave us a comic book instead of a, a copy of Predator or Aliens to watch to go with our pen. So of course we need to go and pick those up. Uh, the Evil Doppelganger, three things to know about them. A Wicked Wardrobe, Heartless Hats, Fearsome Facial Hire. Yeah, I've got all of the above. Uh, superhero rivalries, uh, fight stories between two people and uh, what's in Harley's purse, Spot the Spock. What's in the Mega Crate? Okay, so this would be a cool Mega Crate to receive this month. Uh, of course, having uh, pretty much a console and Daredevil and a many other things, many Daredevil hoodie and many other things besides. Didn't receive it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm still waiting for that Mega Crate loot crate. You need to actually get that to me as soon as possible. And I just realized one of those, one of those things that was in this was a 3D printer. So fuck you, whoever won that. Uh, fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you again. So yeah. That's pretty much all of the interesting stuff that's in there. I mean, of course, there's a, the typical photographs and news articles and everything else that's inside the magazine. I do sit down and read these now. I uh, enjoy the content. I don't want them to stop producing the magazine. But um, if it's if the magazine's considered content, it should be just considered more advertising. That's what it is. The artwork, as always, is gorgeous. Um, sorry, I love the artwork on the anime crits. I love the artwork on these crits. They're usually really, really enjoyable to actually po poke through whenever you're in... Um, the artworks are always enjoyable to poke through, and the crates always look gorgeous on my shelf. As you can see from myself sitting in behind, I try to keep as many of them as possible. Admittedly, it gets to the point where you actually have to toss some crates, just because they are bulky. If you're using them for display pieces, great and grand. If I was using them for storage, be great and grand. But um, I'm also honestly at the point where I don't really need to have any more of these sitting in the background. I might rotate some of them in, rotate some of them out, and you may never see them again. But uh, that's the nature of the beast. You got to keep yourself moving. You got to keep moving on. That's what life is. You don't kind of settle down to one thing and never really change your mind or keep on doing the same thing over and over again because what is it? The uh, sign of uh, madness is actually repeating the same thing over and over again without expecting any kind of change. And the one thing I'm getting a little bit annoyed about is, of course, Luke creates habit of posting and shipping a little bit later to the UK and then uh, just being in Northern Ireland, the shipping and management and the customs is a bit more arsy and we tend to have to wait that even a little bit longer but in this particular case this month i found out that a lot of people were getting their crates long before i did and it's uh, had me a little bit pissed from the beginning so of course versus was the theme of our crate we're actually going from alien versus predator and we've got the rest of it all sitting down here so guys i'm just gonna have to head on oh wait there's one more thing i actually have to show you guess what i got more loot Level Up has actually been sent off to us here at the house as well, so let's get ourselves into through this list. Okay, so obviously they sent a t-shirt and this is accessories, so they actually sent this t-shirt, the one I'm already wearing. You sunk my battleship. Like this design. This one I like. I'm wearing it. That's a perfect sign that I'm enjoying it that much. So uh, the other things that came along with it were, of course, a Bestie necklace set, which is kind of nice. I actually like the design though. It's actually a Bestie set so you give one to one of your friends and you actually use the other one yourself for Batman vs Superman. Uh, assuming because it's actually the Versus crate, that's why they went for that theme. Personally, if it had been an alien head and a predator head, I'd been just as happy with that. That's not a problem though. I mean, I'll wear one of those, I'll wear that shit. And of course, uh, something that I'm gonna have many, many uses for, you know, um, because of what's going on with my head. Elastic ribbon hair ties. Now, I'm probably gonna use them to tie up my beard, but that's only whenever I'm gonna be sitting on the weekend relaxing on my own. Not for any of you guys to see. But yeah, nice little touch. Uh, something that I can actually give on to somebody else as a little gift. So yeah, that was the Louvre crit for March versus and the level up crit for March versus. And I hope you guys 
enjoyed seeing what I was going through. It's a bit late. Uh, but this is the reason why it's haphazard what I'm going through. Uh, because <laughs> it's uh, not exactly major fast excitement. But I have something really cool to show you guys in the next video whenever you guys get the chance to see it. It will be um, a wonder surprise of new content. Uh, very, very new content because it's a founder create for something brand new. So you guys, hope you all come back for the next video here on Passage of Skin. I look forward to seeing you again. So I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.